everybody, welcome back to It Moves. Uh, I missed the ending again, but luckily I saw it before I went any further. So, yeah. We're on chapter 5. And I really don't know how long this is, but I feel like we're getting up to the end. I don't know. I'll have to check them. And I got chips now. Hmm. Ow. <laughs> oh, shit, that was bad timing. Oh. Ah. While in my family were not very religious, at this age I still believed in God and hoped that somehow this would protect me. Although fearful and anxious, while gripping the crucifix under my pillow tightly in one hand, sleep eventually came as I drifted off to dream. I hoped it would. <laughs> I hoped I would awaken in the morning without inconvenience. Unfortunately, that most night was the most terrifying of all. And finally, off the fizzy screen, that screen was getting nuts. Chapter five: Urban Explorer. That sounds exciting. I get salts on my pants. No! Yeah. I would love to save. Slot five, please. Okay. Okay. Ugh. I'm tired of having to move my camera. It says woof. <laughs> woof. I'm pretty sure that that looks like Frankenstein. Am I still in a church? Skills. I'm in a school. Because the feeling that something invading your privacy, even without even without ill will, still is still disturbing. Someone fell down that hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, into the room. <laughs> you are an old lady good. Good. <laughs> um, bunch of school books. Okay. <laughs> you are. You are what? You are an asshole? <laughs> Even if you don't know why they are there. Why they are here. You hold the greatest amount of fear for them. Oh, little dinosaurs. Hey, wait, why is there a bathtub? A bathtub in the middle of a classroom. Okay, so we are in a school. Oh, the Triceratops. Comic books. Oh, this is a this is a school and it's got comic books. What? Okay, religious man and woman. We're in a school. This is a Christian school. The sounds of screams are awful. They were even worse when they're your own. Ooh. I'm gonna go check out these other rooms first. Mattress, dirty and worn out. Okay. Okay. Piece of paper. Here. It reads, knock, knock. Nope! Hmm, mattress, dirty and worn. That's cool. Let's go! Get out the door. That's the door I came through, right? Why can't I go out it? What is this? What is this? Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. That's dumb. What are you? Oh, okay. I hope they're okay in there. Uh, what do we got? Big file cabinet. 
writing desk. Looks to be nothing inside. Oh, there's going to be something inside of one of those. Let me check here. Locked. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're following after the weird man again. Oh, there he is. Wait. Let's get a good look at him. Ah, yes. It's locked. Broken. Can't get in there. Okay, that's fine. Didn't want in there. Didn't want it in here. See? What the fuck is that? Are they are they ducks? Are they gonna kill me? I I really don't know. Oh, shoot, I can't get out now. Okay. This room is just weird. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, you flopper. Hi. Hi, my name's Steven. Oh, we don't know my character's name. It's just the son, the mob, the grandma, the older brother, the dad. Where's the names? How about Jilly, Bob, Farley, Bob Marley, Bob Farley, Marley, Darley, Charlie. Okay. I can leave this nightmare ridden land. Oh, isn't this place lovely? Oh, was that a ladder? Is there anything else of importance up here? No. No, there's not. There's not. There's nothing. It's just a scary forbidden land full of bullshit and a kid with a freaking bowl cut. Cool. Roar. Is this a maze? Uh... Uh, ah! Shut up! I don't want to hear your bullshit. Your bullfuckery. Okay. You scream, lady. You scream with all your might. Watch, I'm going the wrong way. This is going to lead to death. Wait a second, is this repeating? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Um. What? Okay. <laughs> oh no. It's a father son conversation. Wait. What happened back there? Was I. I don't know. You're awful quiet nowadays. Is there something wrong, son? Nothing. 
Are you sure? Is there something wrong with your new room? You are quite lonely without your brother. Mm, no. I'll write that. Okay. Love the chat, Dad. Bye. <laughs> I woke gradually. The new room was once again dark. As my eyes adjusted, I could gradually make out the window and the door and the walls, some toys on the sh shelf. And even on this day, I shudder to think of it for there is, there was no noise, no rustling, no rustling of the sheets, no movement at all. The room was left lifeless, lifeless, yet not empty. The night, nightly visitor that was unwelcome, wheezing, hate-filled, the thing which had terrorized my nightmares night after night was not in the bottom bunk. It was not in my bed. I opened my mouth to scream, but nothing came out. Utter terror had shaken the very sound from my voice. I lay motionless. If I could not scream, I did not want to let it know I was awake. I had not yet seen it. I could only feel it. It was obscured under my blanket. I could see its outline. I could feel its presence, but I not dare look. The weight of it pressed down on top of me, a sensation I will never forget. When I say hours pass, I do not ex exaggerate. exaggerate. Laying there motionless in the darkness, I was every bit scared and frightened. I was every, in the dark, I was every bit a scared and frightened young boy. If it had been during the summer months, it would have been light by then. But the grasp of winter is long and un unrevealing. Unrevealing? Un unrevealing. I said I wasn't good at reading. I knew it would be hours before sunrise. Unrelenting! <laughs> A sunrise which I earned for. I was a timid child by, child by nature, but I reached a breaking point. A movement, a moment where I could wait no more, where I could survive under this <laughs> Fear can sometimes wear you out, make you red bared. A shell of nerves leaving only the slightest trace of you behind. I had to get out of the bed. Then I remembered this, 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 the, the cross. I can't read. Leave me alone. My hand still lay under the pillow, but it was empty. I slowly moved my wrist around to find it. Minimizing as best I could the sound of vibrations caused by it but I could not be found. It, I had either knocked it off the top bunk or it had, I could not even bear to think of it, been taken from my hand. Without the sacrifice, I lost my sense of hope. Even at such a young age, you can be ex, ex, acutely aware of, of what death is and intensely frightened of it. I knew I was going to die if that be in that bed if I lay there, dormant, passive, doing nothing. And I'm pretty sure this is about to end, but I have to end it here. So, just gonna... Um, let's see the nuts patch it did. Uh, so, that was It Moves. Uh, if you like it, you know, I can do more of these. Uh, but I can't finish this one in this episode, and I don't know how much of it's going to be in the next episode. So, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>
I'm just gonna sit here.